Hi everyone, my name is Gemma Lambert, 12 times UK Nail Champion, Nail Professional of the Year 2013 and I also won two Scratch Awards this year, Nail Artist of the Year and Nail Stylist of the Year. Welcome to the Nail Team's tutorial site on YouTube, hope you enjoy the videos, feel free to leave me any comments, thank you, bye! I'm just going to do a 3D flower on this nail, I'm using NSI Winning White because it's a lovely crisp white. Taking the liquid out of my bead so that when I place it onto the nail it doesn't sink too much. It'll sink a little bit but it won't just flatten right out. Now because I want a point on this petal I'm going to get that point in while it's still nice and wet and movable. And then I'm going to wait for that bead to turn matte. As soon as that bead turns matte, I can start pressing into it. It's a little bit more like a Play-Doh consistency then. So I'm pressing into it more with the belly of the brush than the point of the brush. Keeping my brush inside the bead. Next bead. Again, while it's wet, we're going to get that point in. And as soon as this bead's gone dry, gone to a matte finish, we can start pressing into it. If you try and work it too early, you'll lose your definition on your petals. Artistically, odd numbers look better than even, so we're going to do a three petaled flower. Really just teasing that point in with the tip of your brush. And then again waiting for that bead to turn matte. Depending on your salon environment will depend on how quickly that happens. The warmer the salon, the quicker that bead will turn to a matte finish. Now in the centre of this nail, I'm going to put a white bead of acrylic. Again, wait for that bead to turn matte before we start to mould it. Bringing my brush back to a nice point coming in at a 90 degree angle, pressing straight in, drawing a circle and then just pressing those sides out a little bit more so that it's not a perfect circle. And then inside that I'm going to put a small bead of clear acrylic. I'm going to pop some of the Nail Team's black caviar beads in. And that's that nail done. If you would like to purchase any of the products that I've used today, please contact us at www.thenailteam.com or you can always pop into our shop in Doncaster.